Thereafter, I went to the army. When I went, it was only one year. When Jeff went, it was two years. Was it compulsory? It was compulsory. Conscription. And, and what it place? had been increased from nine months. It used to be nine months before with camps. Then they made it one year without camps. How did you enjoy or not enjoy? Um, what, what, did you do in the army? what did you do? Oh, I, I, first, first, I was just in the ordinary infantry regiment. Then I heard they wanted a kosher chef. So I thought, here's a wonderful way of getting out of this. So I volunteered to be a chef. I didn't know the first thing about cooking, but none did any, any of the other people. It chefs, was really simply chefs. just threw a chicken in a boiling pot of boiling water and waited. <laughs> <laughs> and, but eventually I, I got the knack of it. And I was sent to a place called Wonderboom, where there were about 800 soldiers, and of which 40 were Jews. So I cooked for them, and I started learning how to do it very well, arousing the resentment of all the other troops who were getting all the slop, and, and I was <laughs> laying ta- white clay tablecloths on the tables <laughs> and, and making jellies and experimenting with multicolored jelly with fruit inside and all that kind of <laughs> things. Anyhow, so the, the sergeant in charge of the cookery section or the chef sections, they called it, was a real anti-Semite, a real Nazi type. So, so I, I didn't have a, a, a great time with him. Uh, but I had my own room. I had rank. I was a lance corporal. I had, I had my weights there. So I endured it for, for a year. And thereafter, I went to Wits University.